All right, we're checking out the only game where you can make so much cold hard cash that you can beat people to death with it. It's Money Maker Run. So, yeah, typically in the Money Maker games, you have to like, you know, make the money by doing things. Here, you literally have to make the money. Like, I actually have to dip my own money. I don't really know what happens when I give it all over to the piggy bank, but I'm hoping it doesn't betray me later on. I also have to mention there's like this constant inflatable, like wacky arm guy that sits over at the used car lot dealerships struggling to steal the money from you. Real or fake? I, I don't know. Does it matter? Oh, all my money was real. What does it mean? What do I get to do with my money? If the money was fake, do I go to prison? Right, everything's pretty simplistic so far. It's just gigantic cubes of pointlessness at the moment. Now everything gets flattened out. Then it gets cut into vaguely- What did I just pick up? What are those things? Are they- Do they- Do they not get stamped like everything else? Actually, my money, like- giant Congo line here is getting so- actually, I'm not going to use the savings this time. I feel like it's a giant lie anyway. Yeah, my thing is so long- What do you mean by that? That it just runs into additional parts of the board at this point. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I guess I can dip it all in gold at the very least. VALUE! <laughs> How do you just get value vomited on you? Like, what does it actually mean? Okay, a lot of it was fake. I'm not sure which was better, the piggy bank or the non-piggy bank. I just like having the gigantic, never-ending brick road of cash. Okay, start with the, the dice over here. Then you go ahead and get the incredibly sharp, like, steel cutouts that someone could probably end up losing a limb over. I also don't know, it looks like traffic cones, but I imagine they're supposed to be spikes. I don't understand why traffic cones would just like randomly be looming inside of a gigantic coin making machine. And then you've got to edge it because you never want to go into battle with a dull coin. That wouldn't be good. Then stamp it. Where's my value at? Oh, not silver. You only want gold. <laughs> and the value has occurred. The piggy bank is just vomiting money. And now I get to see how many years in prison we get. Oh, it's fake because it hasn't gone through the entire process. See, if you notice on the bottom left, they look more like Cheez-Its than actual coins. That doesn't feel very fair. It's like just because those coins are different, they're not allowed to join the rest of the team. What happened to that, that one square piece of sadness over there? It just got, I don't know what happened to it. It, it just got yeeted completely off the board. All right, dip everything in gold, or as much as I can. Grab these random plates of violence. Then it gets stamped in- Oh yeah, we're, we're going like all the way over here, as long as I can stay away from Felony McCrimington over there. All right, grab a couple of extra gold. And I think all the- So if I'm right, all the coins should be real this time. All of them. Why are there two piggy banks now? Do I get to break both of them? Tap on the Mickey Mouse glove hand. You got it. Oh, you do break both of them! I have so many coins that I get two piggy banks! Oh, never mind. I have real money on one side and like used buttons from the Burlington Coat Factory on the left side. Now I need to know where this ends. Like, can you eventually get to the point where your your line of money is so long that it eventually just like, I don't know, causes the game to fold in upon itself like time and space? just dying together as one. Will you not touch my money? It's not even fully moneyized yet. Okay, it's just like blocky stacks. The only difference is you'll be the one going to prison instead of me. So it's like, do you want to give it to the piggy bank or do you want to give it to the criminal? I'm really not sure. Okay, stamp it, silver it, gold it, and money. Boom. Okay, no prison for- Okay, maybe a slight amount of prison. We call that minor prison. It's like the lesser of the prisons. This is a really small board, this one here. You can dip everything in gold except for that random one that, I don't know, just didn't want to go swimming. Maybe it's just afraid of water. Well, it's not really water. It's molten gold. I guess I would be afraid of it too. I'm pretty sure someone died like that in Game of Thrones. It's hard to see from here because it's kind of far away from where I'm looking. But the one sad coin down on the left looks like it has a little smiley face drawn on it. It's like that coin is mocking me. Just smiling, but it's not really smiling. It's more like sneering and it's like loser. Okay, I have edged my coins. They're ready to go into battle. There is getting to be a lot of very, very uh, inappropriately touchy-feely hands that are trying to grab my stuff. The fact that they're not caught on like a body is also somewhat like just disconcerting to me. Okay, full coins. No fake coins. Bam. 
Why? Oh, I'm getting like stacks of coins now. It's like, oh, I'm getting giant stacks of coins. I like that, okay. Yeah, I don't like to save anything. All of it just gets inappropriately used on useless things that I probably don't need. And the mega stamping, more of this, head over to the silver, then value for days, and... Okay, so <laughs> apparently my stamped marshmallows aren't considered real, why not? They're more like bludgeoning tools than anything that you would actually use to pay for stuff with. Like seriously, instead of flipping a coin at someone, if you flipped one of those things, you could end up killing someone. You know what? I'm going to use the savings just to see what happens. All of it's going in there. All right. So we're restamping. We're regathering. We're going for full gold this time. All of the value and what happens? I don't know. I feel like I have 3,700 pieces of sadness right now. I just want one run where everything goes absolutely perfect. I don't want you. Oh, there's there little tiny coins now. I'm getting little coinlets. Look at how t look at how small they are. It's adorable. I'm not sure how much they're worth. I think the normal ones are worth uh, 25. All right, everyone gets silver, and then everyone gets value, and they're worth 10. Do I eventually get to upgrade to like gigantic bills? All right, beat my marshmallows down, then grab all of the delicious plates. Then you know I feel like we're going through a lot of effort for like very little reward in the world of like making money. I think I'd rather just make it, but have someone else already have done this hard part. All right, how fast can I? Oh god! And it's the problem is too. It's so long that it whips around slowly. Look how long it takes <laughs> now. The gigantic Congo line of money. All right, so we started at forty-one fifteen. So how much money do I actually make with something like that? Like 300, 370? There's a lot of fake coins I had on that run. It is, I feel like this is a lot like making crackers. You know, if, if the crackers broke your teeth and you choked on them and died when you tried to eat them. Okay, maybe it's kind of nothing like crackers. It's basically like the things that buy the crackers though. So there is some relation here. I think I can, I was gonna say, I think I can get this Okay, do I need to stamp any more? No. Oh yeah, this is this is easily the, the biggest run so far. So 4490, the piggy bank is about to explode more than likely. <laughs> Woo! 700! Come on, I want I want the line to get absurd. It's not it's not stupid enough yet. All right. We're going for the god run. The only issue is I need to oh. I was gonna say, without a stamp, I am absolutely going to be violating the law here. Or no, it's not stamp, I think it's cut. What if I give all this stuff that doesn't count to the piggy bank? Like, none of those coins would have made it. The only thing that would have happened is I would have annoyed everyone around me. Okay, starting off, real coins. Here we go. Real coins. Into the edging. Straight over to the gold. Then to value. So every once in a while, like before the before the tens, you get to have a perfect run. Okay, this is probably the longest one I've had yet. Oh, don't you touch it! No, no! All right. Oh, this is happening. Okay, just weave over into the stamp, weave over into the silver, grab the extra gold. There we go. Eighty-eight fifteen to what? I would like to see a thousand. Two of the. Piggy bank's worth. Apparently a lot of it was fake. I'm probably going to face the firing squad for this many felonies. Cut. Yeah, don't cut the money. Cut me. Make it stop. All right, here's the plan. The marshmallows are useless to me. I'm not going to let them be on the team anymore. All right, just barely swim in the gold. See, just a tiny little bit. And then weave on over to the right. Yes. And... We have gold lined up. Oh yeah. 10495 to 1095 600. Okay. So you need the mallet. The only the mallet can deal with the marshmallows. Look at the unholy line of money. Oh yeah. The fact that it's all going from gold to silver kind of makes me cry a little bit inside, but I mean, I guess I really didn't have a choice. Okay, so I want all these to stay away. There, perfect. Okay, good. Now get over. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got one square coin. I mean, you know, you do what you get. Oh, actually, it's not square anymore. It probably went into the piggy bank. Someone's going to get like violated by the IRS for having improper money. Yeah, my, my line is so long that I, I can't. 
I can't actually fully control it. Like if my uncle told me that with great money comes great responsibility, unless your money goes off the screen and there's not really much you can do about it. 11665, there we go. Now we're starting to get toward and even past 600. Okay, so can I get around this without being violated by the spikes? Yes! Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, didn't know that there'd be another mallet there. Okay, big money into the mallet. I'm gonna take these and hope that there's another mallet. If there's not, uh, well, hopefully I can use it as an excuse in court. I'm not really sure. Oh, there is another mallet. Oh yeah, give me the gold. Yes! Look at it. Yes. Don't you touch it. I'd rather go into the savings. Okay, so I got time six on the savings. So let me see if all these coins turn into time six when we get to the end. So 12, 8, 40. No, it didn't turn into anything at all. It was just endless lies. Right, ain't gold plated Legos laying around? Apparently not. I feel kind of bad. I haven't actually seen anything but real coins this whole level. It's like because I was yelling at the overweight coins, they felt bad and now I don't get to see them anymore. All right, so I don't want him to take any of my money. So I'll end up getting a bunch of it as silver just to make this run a perfect run as far as the actual coins are concerned. I'm trying to see whose head is on the coins because there's like a face on there every once in a while it's probably just me with like a look of indignation because i literally have now the perfect stack 14 560 to 15 160 so a flat 600 speaking of flat there we go once again what is effectively a perfect run in order to see what kind of value I end up with. What happened to the coin at the end? Did you see it? It was a copper coin and it just died. 15,160 to 15,720. I got a grand total of nowhere. My line gets longer and longer, but all I'm doing is just taking more and more effort to not get paid appropriately. I don't even care if it's real money anymore. I just want the longest line I can get now. I want it so long that I can't even really do anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I actually can't go over because it's so long that it just hits any any single obstacle that exists and there's no way around it. Even with the marshmallows at my back, we went from 15,720 to 16,170. I have so many fake coins, it just looks like a bunch of golden mashed potatoes laying in there. Well, there's one thing I learned. If it comes between making my own money and just making the money through a job, I'd rather just have the job. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Money Maker Run. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love.